Hi guys and gals, Chartreuse here, uh, take two. Uh, we're bring I'm bringing you some more red Minecraft Redstone here today. Uh, today we are in single player, just because I need more control and single player commands helps a lot. Um, bringing you player sensors. More direct this is more directed towards uh, Vex, it's hard to get a hold of him, but uh, I'm trying. Uh, these are three player sensors that I've come up with. Uh, the first one here, uh, you can see those two are not peaceful safe, but this one is peaceful safe. It uses creepers, skeletons, or zombies, your choice. Uh, they will spawn in the two gaps here in the air. However, this repeater here, because it emits light level 9, makes the spawning of uh, normal mo natural mobs impossible because they cannot spawn above light level 7. So it goes 9, 8, 7. I can't remember if they spawn at head height or not. It's the other way, but they can't spawn in here. It simply uses a powered repeater placed right at the pressure plate level and you can still grab the signal off that. You can even put bombs down there if you want to be like Vex. Um, another interesting property you can see here is that half slabs block light from passing through them. It makes it really convenient just to show this map and an uh, interesting good property with one of those traps. I'll show you in a second. As you can hear these ones keep spawning on peaceful. This one rapidly because I used four spawners. That one is a bit more evil you'll see in a second. But uh, here I'll, sw I'll kill all mobs and we're going to go into hard so I can show you a demonstration of a creeper spawning in this one. Oh, you can hear the cave spiders. Bit of a hint from what the next two are. Man they're loud. Oh there's a creeper. He spawned midair. Fell down to the pressure plate. See he won't even blow up because I'm in creative. <laughs> oh there goes my mic. Uh, sorry about that guys. Um, mic's acting up a bit. Um, next trap here Let's kill them all again. Is these are both the this one is not slime safe, just because small slimes can spawn in a one by one by two area, one by one by one if the block above them is non opaque, hence the solid blocks. Uh, these two now, however, are uh, this one. They all spawn in the middle on a pressure plate. You can see the one down there. The block above um, cancel that phone. The block above is opaque, so slimes cannot spawn. However, this is extremely small and reliable. Watch how quick it goes. Kill all. And let's say I'm walking by. Oh, that one triggered. <laughs> there it goes. Okay, um, my mic's acting up. Sorry about that all. Uh, but uh, now this, this is my favorite one. It's ridiculously tiny. Use half slabs about it for good reason. Because if I were not in creative, uh, I can't remember how to get rid of it. Um, uh, game mode one. There we go. Um, now let's kill all. So when they spawn again, this one, say I'm walking by, hopefully the slime doesn't kill me. I'll wait for him to spawn. Well, you see these torches are just so the cave sprites can't spawn below. Come on, be nice. I guess it would just it just spawned. Oh, there he goes. Now if he could see me. Oh, yeah, he comes after me. Because he can escape from that trap. I don't know why they're ignoring me a bit right now, I get these single player commands. But they always they can't spawn the half slabs, and if you put a torch up here, they can't spawn on this block either. Just to be safe. So they can't spawn anywhere else, but they'll spawn on the pressure plate. But once they do, they are free to escape because they can fit through these half ga gap spaces and come af right after the player, <laughs> making a delightfully evil trap. Something I'd expect to see in a vex. <laughs> that saying that I'd seen a super hostile thing, and I know I would. <laughs> Uh, this has been Minecraft with Chartreuse K. Those are the three spawners I came up with. Uh, have a nice day.